While the oral GLP-1 receptor agonist semaglutide has proven cardiovascular safety in people with type 2 diabetes, does it reduce cardiovascular risk as has been shown with the weekly injectable form? The SOL trial was a double-blind, placebo-controlled, event-driven superiority trial that sought to assess cardiovascular benefit with oral semaglutide in people with type 2 diabetes and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and or chronic kidney disease, CKD. Participants were randomized to once daily oral semaglutide at 14 milligrams or placebo in addition to standard care. The primary outcome was timed to first major adverse cardiovascular event defined as cardiovascular death, non-fatal MI, or non-fatal stroke. Three confirmatory secondary outcomes were tested in hierarchical order. One, time to first occurrence of a five-point CKD composite, two, time to death from cardiovascular cause, and three, time to first occurrence of major adverse limb event. There were 9,650 participants randomized with a mean follow-up of 47 and a half months. Approximately 71% of participants had a history of cardiovascular disease and 42% had a history of CKD. Primary outcome events occurred in 12% of participants in the semaglutide group and 13.8% of participants in the placebo group. In the semaglutide group, death from cardiovascular cause occurred in 6.2% of participants compared to 6.6% in the placebo group. Non-fatal MI occurred in 4% of participants in the semaglutide group and 5.2% in the placebo group. Non-fatal stroke occurred in 3% of participants in the semaglutide group and 3.3% in the placebo group. Serious adverse events occurred in 47.9% of participants who received semaglutide and 50.3% who received placebo. The SOL trial demonstrated that oral semaglutide at 14 milligrams was superior to placebo in reducing the incidence of major adverse cardiovascular events in people with type 2 diabetes and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and or CKD.